Hello, Roger Bisbee here from the Skill Builder channel. We got an email the other day from a fire officer and he was saying, Rog, why don't you do something on the fires caused by solar panel installations because they are on the rise. So I thought, good idea, let's have a look at this because the other week I was filming a solar panel installation and they put in all kinds of measures to mitigate the danger of fires. It's worth looking at. And we have to ask why this is happening because it seems that there's a disproportionate number of fires now it's gone up threefold we're talking about something like 170 fires a year which okay when you look at solar panels that's still probably a very low risk in the great scheme of things but if it happens to be your house that catches fire maybe that risk is not so acceptable fires from any kind of electrical installation are always a risk i don't suppose that solar panels are any different except that when the fire occurs it's up in your roof space so you don't get any real indication of it until it's probably well underway, what the fire brigade would call weather light. So what you can do, first thing you could do is you could put a smoke detector in your loft so that you would get a little earlier warning of anything that was going on. Now, smoke detectors are affected by dust and it could be that you'll be getting a few false alarms from it. So maybe you've got to think about that. You've got to think about whether you've got a dusty loft or not. And the next thing is that lofts are very often full of all sorts of combustion bustable material like Christmas decorations and stuff that you really ought to have thrown away years ago. So another thing, let's keep the electrical connections out of the way of combustible materials. And then you've got the connections themselves. Now there are high quality connection boxes and direct current isolators and there are low quality ones. So as we get more and more cheaper solar panels coming in it may well be that we're getting cheaper components as well some of these panels are actually built into the roof and some of them are sitting on the roof and that makes a big difference because if you've got ones which are actually sitting on top of the tiles and they catch fire or explode so you've got a non-combustible surface underneath the actual solar panels but of course at some point those cables from the solar panels are going to have to come probably inside the loft and at that point there'll be junction boxes connectors isolators and all kinds of things now the solar panel installation i was filming the other week they use what they call arc boxes which cover the connections and if there's any arcing which is basically sparking from loose connections then that is safely contained inside an intramescent box intramescent being a material which actually expands and smothers the fire so as soon as the fire starts this goo just goes all around it and puts the fire out so a great thing to have they cost about 20 quid they're going to add every time you've got a connection you've got to put one of those in so it will add a few hundred quid the other thing that they did was they put a fireproof barrier because they had these building panels rather than these ones which are the surface mounting ones they had ones like this which are built into the roof look a lot nicer in my opinion but of course they are lying directly on the battens so what they did is they put a bit of Tyvek fire barrier under those panels so if they caught fire there is a fire resistant material underneath the panels and of course the other thing you need is rapid isolating switches something that if it detects any kind of electrical fault actually just switches off the current straight away now I did see a report of an incident in London where the fire brigade had to spend quite a long time isolating the panels before they could fight the fire because they were at risk of electrocution if they went up there and just started chucking water around. So they spent some time covering the panels in a gel which they described as a kind of liquid tarpaulin and that cut off the sunlight to the panels and meant that they could then work safely on them, disconnect them and get on with fighting the fire. So there's a consideration there. But if they'd had an isolating switch, they probably could have got on with the job a lot faster. And the other thing that I must mention is batteries because a lot of people want to incorporate batteries into their installation, obviously to save money. They want to store that electricity up during the sunny day and use it at night. And that's a great idea, except of course that some batteries are better than others. You get a cheap one, it could be that it's in more danger of exploding or catching fire than a better brand. I was talking to somebody who makes batteries in the UK and he said there's a world of difference between the good quality batteries and the ones that a lot of people are now buying. And the worst thing you can do 
is to install those batteries underneath the solar panels in your roof space because once again you've got very highly combustible material in there you've got a fire which can start without you ever realizing it and very soon we've seen these pictures of things like uh, electric scooters and bikes catching fire in people's hallways and the the ferocity and the the way that fire grabs hold you just don't get any time at all so if you've got batteries in your loft it'd be a great idea to remove them and put them somewhere safer you can get fireproof containers for the batteries but a better bet really is to just put them outside if you can have a, a little house made outside of non-combustible material where the batteries are stored then that is the best of all possible worlds now, i don't want to cause any alarm because solar panels in general are a low risk item statistically anyway and if you just look after them make sure that you have a service check first of all after one year you need somebody to go up there and just check that all the connections are tight that nothing's moved and then after that maybe every five years just get somebody in to do a quick safety check of the installation because i think that some of the problem with the increase in these fires is due to the fact that they've now been in there for maybe five or ten years in some cases and maybe the cables are starting to cook and things are starting to deteriorate so it could be that the newer panels that are going in are really just a ticking time bomb that maybe in five or ten years time we'll be seeing fires from those ones I don't know it could be new installations it could be old ones the fire officer didn't tell me that I don't know whether that is even available as information anyway I hope that it helps and um, let me know what you think have you got solar panels are they safe uh, would you recommend them to a friend or an enemy? If you'd like to find out more about solar panel fires and how to protect your home or business, head over to our website. We've got a guide to help you stay safe. And a big thank you to all our YouTube members. Your support keeps Skill Builder going.